Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January the 22nd of 2020, well, it is titled the Hyades Star Cluster. So what do we see here? Well, we do see the Hyades star cluster, which is a group, a group we call an open cluster of stars. And it is actually the nearest star cluster to us here on Earth. This star cluster being only about 150 light years away. And while that is an incredible distance in terms of the size of our galaxy, it's really in our own backyard. Our own galaxy is about 100,000 light years across and this is only about 150 light years away. So actually relatively close and as I said, the nearest star cluster to us. Now one of the stars here is actually not a part of that cluster and that is the bright star Aldebaran. You can see Aldebaran here to the left the yellowish very bright star and in fact the very bright star at the eye of the bull in the constellation of Taurus. Easy to find in the sky if you can find the constellation of Orion. Uh, Taurus is a little bit up, up and to the right of Orion. So you can see that there and the bright star Aldebaran will be the eye of the bull. Now this isn't the only open cluster in the constellation of Taurus. There's actually another cluster that is actually more distant uh, further off to the right, which would be the Pleiades star cluster. And it tends to get dominated because it is a much more compact cluster. And you can see it uh, very well. You can see both of these with the naked eye. Uh, but the Pleiades cluster sometimes tends to get dominated when we're taking when taking images of them. So sometimes the Hyades cluster here is neglected, even though again, it is a beautiful grouping of uh, stars and again is the closest star cluster to us here on Earth. Now an open star cluster differentiates from the other type of star cluster we call a globular cluster uh, by the fact that these stars are not gravitationally bound together. And that means that over time they will slowly spread out. This is a relatively young cluster only about 625 million years old. And while that sounds like a very long time to us, it is a very short time astronomically speaking. When we talk about our sun, our sun is four and a half billion years old. So much, much older than this. So over billions of years, these stars will slowly spread out and disperse and the cluster will dissipate out into space. And we can use that and actually use those motions to try to work backwards and find out what other stars might have been part of clusters in the past, including our own sun. And one of the studies that we come up with shows that the Hyades actually may have some relationship to another cluster uh, nearby on the in the constellation of Cancer. And that is what we call the Beehive Cluster. And that's another open cluster that we can see and just based on their ages and their motions, they may, it may actually be related to the Hyades cluster that we see here today. So that was our picture of the day for January the 22nd of 2020. It was titled the Hyades star cluster. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be roaming the halo. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.